So my man's AI is rated 95, which I'm like, all right, 95, man. That's that's not bad, man. Iverson, he wasn't he wasn't the all around most perfect player, but man, when it came to mid range jump shots and attacking the basket, AI was the man. And you can see that in uh, 2K13, man. They really, I think they really did a good job at simulating his character and, you know, the way that he played, his style of basketball, and the way that he attacks the basket. His movements look very, very, very similar to the way that he played in real life uh, back when he was in his prime, you know, back in... 2000 2001 season when they was back there and man iverson really put that team when you hear the term i put the team on my back though the ai was the man uh, he really put the team on his back look at this shaking him up right there man iverson i used to love watching ai like i used to watch every single philadelphia game just because of him and it was like and that was back when i was like i had just started high school and uh, I was playing basketball and stuff there for my hoop team. And, um, like, I just I kind of, like, mimicked my game around him because I was always the shortest dude on the, on the court. And I could, sh you know, I was good at shooting, but I wasn't really, like, the most uh, dominant person on the court because, you know, I was always playing against people over to me and shit like that. But uh, I still did what I had to do, man. That's that's really where I spent majority of, like, who I really watched the most growing up. It was Allen Iverson. Look at him. From long distance, man. Tossing that up. Still got it to go. So, anyways, what's going on here is uh, I was playing my boy online. We, we decided to chop it up online. He picked a thunder, and I wanted to see how Allen Iverson was on this game because when I found out that they put him on here man I was excited so I had to get AI a try so we put the quarters on Hall of Fame and just decided to give it a go and Philly the team as a whole is garbage but when it comes to scoring AI is pretty much the only answer see what I did there he's the only answer when it comes to scoring baskets for Philadelphia man because these other chumps couldn't do nothing they was missing layups they was missing everything wide open shots and I think um, I think they were a little bit reliable for AI when it came you know when he when he gave him the ball because he did average a decent amount of assist and you know they would be a Aaron McKee was good for hitting some shots every now and then George Lynch too Matumbo could at least make a layup man Matumbo can't even make a layup on here it's, it's crazy I don't know if it's just because we was playing on Hall of Fame or what but it just wasn't working but look at these moves man they like vintage AI fading away with people in his face cash all day like it was really it was fun using him man I really wish that uh I could use this team online though, because I've been playing a lot of uh, 2K13 online, and I really cannot, uh, I can't use them online, you can only use teams from today, which is kind of stupid, or at least they should make a mode where you can use classic teams, you know, both people kick, fit, ugh, pick classic teams, and you know, that would be really dope, but... I, I, was, I was shocked when I saw you can't play with AI online. I wanted to tear people up, man. But but I guess everybody would just pick Jordan anyway. So it's all good, though. But, um, yeah, I had a lot of fun using this team. And um, I really want to try to use some of the other classic teams. The next one I want to use is the Bad Boys. My hometown Pistons. I want to see how Isaiah Thomas is on here. Joe Dumars, Dennis Rodman, the young Dennis Rodman. Uh, you know, they really had a great team. They was also fun to watch. But I was just, I was a little man back then. Man. I was like four years old back then. So I wasn't really all into basketball. But I caught up a lot on basketball. Like as I started to get into it, like through middle school and stuff like that. Like I went back and I tried to find, or I used to watch like ESPN Classic a lot before when they had that channel. I don't know if y'all know when ESPN Classic was. They used to show all the classic games, man. I wish they had that still. But uh, I, I used to watch that all the time. That's how I saw like the Jordan games and Magic Johnson and Larry Bird. Man, it was just that was good, clean basketball back then. It was real fun, and all the teams wasn't all stacked up. 
with superstars like they are today. So the game has evolved, but man, it, it, it was crazy back then when Charles Barkley would go up against Jordan. But right here, you can see AI signature skills, the fourth quarter. We got the finisher, the ankle breaker, the stealer, and then the the stealer. He's good at steals, and then he's acrobatic also. So those are his signature skills. If you're wondering like what AI signature skills are, um, and that, I would say that those are they're pretty accurate. You know, he was good at finishing, whether it was dunk or a layup. But when it came, like the layups he would pull off, were just crazy. Like. Come on, man. What, I know some. I know some people in here that used to watch AI in the comment section. Tell me AI when he went to attack the basket, when he was going for them layups, that like he would just pull off some of the craziest layups and pull them off with contact too, and get the N one. Man, it was just so fun watching him. So it was really, it was really a joy to actually get to relive some of those memories and just go ahead and get out there with AI. Pulling up those mid-range jumpers over everybody and just going going ham, man. So I'm glad that they put him in this uh this year. If there's any other characters or classic, I'm saying characters like it's a video game, classic players or whatever y'all want to see me play with, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead, and leave a comment. Leave a comment. Let me know. I would definitely, cause I'm looking to mix it up. I don't want to just do my player all the time when it comes to 2K13, and I don't just want to do first-person shooter games. So. Let me know what y'all think. But right here, I think this is the dagger right here. Look at AI crossing over, sizing him up, and then he's going to fade back. Uh, wet, baby. That's on Hall of Fame, too, man. So AI, Philly, come away with the victory. I think if these two teams met in real life, it would probably be a blowout, and the Thunder would uh, destroy them. But, hey, man, it's all, it's all fun and games, man. It's all video games and stuff. But, uh, yeah, man, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Just wanted to put up something different for y'all. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace out. Well, it is